Now that's how you start off a morning. That's my morning routine right there. I wake up every single morning, it's 4 a.m. and I have a heavy leg day today. But I always start off with tongue scraping, oil pulling, just to get rid of all that bad bacteria that kind of looms in the mouth overnight. And just for overall oral care, it takes about 15 minutes. So in that time period, I like to kind of relax and de-stress and get my mind right. So I go and do some red light therapy to kind of energize the body, get the body all prepped, primed, and activated and ready to go. And then I also do a little bit of reading, get my mindset. And right now I'm reading Tim Grover's Winning. And it's all about that mob mentality. And I love win the day, but it starts with winning the morning and that's gonna help you win the day. So if you guys wanna be the greatest version of yourself, you know where it's at. You guys gotta get up, get after it. There is no excuses, but guess what? I'm gonna start this workout off with a little bit of hydration. I wanna show you guys exactly what I drink in the morning. Let's go. This is my special drink I make every morning before I go to the gym. And while I'm doing my oral care, my water is being treated with the Thura O3 Bubbler Ozone Device, which essentially purifies the water and is one of the easiest ways to upload more oxygen directly into the bloodstream and lower oxidative stress. So once that is complete, I put one teaspoon of fresh ginger and turmeric, and then I add one tablespoon of lemon juice then one tablespoon of sea vegetables along with five grams of BCAAs and glutamine and beetroot powder. This special cocktail saturates the body with rich micronutrients, enhances immune function, helps reduce inflammation, and helps reduce exercise fatigue while increasing overall energy levels. Wow, that's strong. That's incredible, but that's what gives me that super charge for the workout. Um, so now I'm gonna drink this off for the next 15, 20 minutes while I go foam roll. So let me take you through my entire mile fast release foam roll series, let's go. This thing right here is literally gold and you should be using it before your workouts because it's gonna help actually release stress help lengthen the muscles and just make you feel absolutely incredible. It doesn't matter if it's upper body day or a lower body day or even a full body day in general, we're always doing a full foam rolling session. I have a massage gun here and I'll take another five minutes or so and I'll just like to finish off again with my feet. I can get right down into the toes, I can finish anything up, I'll get the calves, the back and the knee, everything just kind of gets one more hit before I get out, get in the car, and get over to my uh, facility for the workout today. So I'll give one more kind of uh, rub down here. And one thing that I can't do with the foam roller is I can't really get into the upper body and the chest, into the pecs, into the bicep. And so what I'll do is I just do a quick kind of stimulation of the biceps. So I'll get a lot of forearm work, especially when we're doing a lot of um, trap bar deadlifts or doing anything that involves grip strength. Forearms are the first thing to usually go. So your grip is the first thing they do, especially in the morning. You know, studies have shown that uh, grip strength really doesn't get activated until the um, until the middle of the day. That's when it, your, your, your grip strength at its best. So what this does is it starts to bring some blood flow, starts to break up um, um, the, the muscles in the forearm, especially if you're doing um, front squats, you could be have really tight forearms. So this is just gonna open that all up. And I do have front squats today, so I'm getting everything uh, ready to go for that. Hey. That's my mild fascia release foam roll series and I also implement the massage gun, but that's gonna make you feel absolutely incredible because when those muscles are lengthened, they're long, they feel good, they're stimulated and they get all those knots and you know crap that's kind of been building up there from the last workout or just tightness in general. When you get rid of all of that, the workout just feels that much better and you help reduce your injuries as well. Let's go. So before I head off to the gym, I gotta bundle up. It's freezing down here in Canada, eh? Get the Toronto Maple Leafs beanie. You know what it is. About to go see the 5 a.m. crew. Train for Warrior Saga, baby. Corey Fernandez, number one gym in Canada. Let's go. So it takes me about 10 minutes to get to the gym. So in that time period, I wanna keep the mind sharp. So I always listen to Andy Forcellus' podcast as I'm going to have to enter beast mode for this lower body workout session. Early morning juice, baby. Early morning juice, it's separation season. Get after it, let's go. Once I roll up to the gym, then I change and then I get my intra-workout drink together. 10 grams of Perfect Sports 
BCAAs to just fuel me throughout the training session. Then we start the warm up, which starts with the jumping jack series of three rounds of 10 repetitions for each movement, consisting of the normal jumping jacks, crisscross jumping jacks, open and close jumping jacks, squats and RDLs, just to elevate the heart rate and break a great sweat. Followed straight into one set of iso lunge holds for 30 seconds per leg. Then we prep and prime the nervous system with some quick, fast, ballistic, in-place jackhammers for two sets of 20 reps. Once finished, we completed a dynamic movement flow with each movement being performed both forward and backwards for 20 yards. Starting off with vertical bounds, then side skips, followed by lateral A skips, and then finishing with backwards hip opener skips. Then to complete the flow, we perform the world's greatest stretch, which in my opinion is the number one mobility exercise you can do to hit absolutely everything in one go. Now to finish the warm up, we completed our hip activation series. First by grabbing a heavy band, placing it above the knees, setting up in an athletic position to perform the lateral band walks for 20 steps both towards the right and left side, targeting the medial glutes. Once complete, then we head it to the ground and perform 30 repetitions of the sideline adductor raises, which target the inner groin. And to finish, we did 30 drop-ins against the wall. Once finished the two rounds, we ended off the warm up with wall leg swings, both forward and sideways, just to target the hamstrings. All right, once we completed that whole warm up, then we moved on to the main program where the focus was on developing beast mode strength to build next level explosive speed and power for overall athleticism at the highest level. Now, before I go any further, if you guys enjoyed this workout and the comprehensive breakdown and analysis, then check out our brand new greatness program where you can get full access to the elite level training like this weekly inside our training app powered by Train Heroic which also comes with nutrition programs, recovery methods, and mindset protocols, so you can truly take your performance to the absolute next level. Oh yeah, and the first seven days are free. So join us today for the full experience. Now back to the workout. The first exercise in the training session started off with front squats for three sets of eight, six, and four repetitions respectively. Now. Front squats are a beautiful blend of demands on posture, flexibility, and muscular recruitment that help train many pathways at one time. The trunk engagement and stability required to remain in upright posture during the front squat challenges your entire kinetic chain to produce greater amounts of force and power. It also challenges you to keep ideal body positions related to vertical takeoff, absorption of landing forces, and reactive power. Adding front squats into your training will yield a greater back squatting and just overall athletic development. Once completed all three sets of the first training block, we took a full recovery of three minutes and then I started training block two, which was a superset, completing three sets of two exercises with 30 seconds rest in between those exercises. Starting with B1, which was trap bar deadlift for six repetitions. Now we use the low handles here with our trap bar to increase the range of motion with the pull off the ground. Now the trap bar is an incredible movement and is biomechanically similar to the front squat, but allows for greater recruitment of the posterior chain. So those hamstrings and big glute muscles for increased force production, this enhancing overall speed and power development. Now the trap bar deadlift also has incredible carryover to explosive movements such as jumping, sprinting, bounding, and change of direction. So once we completed that, we took a 30 second rest and then we went directly into the next exercise of the superset, walking lunges for 20 total repetitions, 10 per side. Now walking lunges are a great way to develop unilateral leg function, strength and range of motion, all while increasing leg hypertrophy. Unilateral movements like the walking lunges can help increase joint and muscular function, movement, and enhance bilateral movement patterns such as the squat. As it's also a great exercise to increase hip and ankle mobility while also training your ability to remain in control at end ranges of knee and hip flexion. Once complete, we took a three minute rest and then we finished the workout with three sets of my personal favorite 
the Nordic curl for five repetitions with a three second eccentric lowering tempo. Now, the time under tension and constant tension on the muscles makes this a very targeted approach to increasing hamstring demands and muscular engagement. Now, the Nordic curl is an effective posterior chain exercise to develop strength, hypertrophy, and just muscular endurance in the hamstrings, glutes, and low back. And trust me when I tell you guys, this is an amazing exercise to increase power, strength, and speed, and just overall posterior chain functionality. All right, guys, there you have it. That was one incredible workout session. Now we're gonna head back to my house for a little bit of grub and some eating. All right, so we're back in the kitchen. I'm freaking exhausted and I'm hungry. That was one incredible lower body training session. And so I got to refuel and recharge for the next day and get the body just feeling good again. So we have our strawberry waffles. Now, as you can see, there's just a little bit of protein in here. Actually, you know, there's a lot of protein, uh, but we also have some carbohydrates. So really easy recipe. There's not a lot, as you can see here. I'm using the base of it as my diesel New Zealand whey isolate protein. That's strawberry from Perfect Sports. Uh, 27 grams of protein, no carbs or fat. So I'm going to add in the carbohydrates, um, these rolled oats. So I'm going to do half a cup of uh, rolled oats. I have one egg. We also have cottage cheese. So you know we're loading up on the uh, protein, but this also gives a little bit of creaminess to it as well. So it makes it nice and fluffy. And so we're going to do another half a cup of that. I got some Ceylon cinnamon, and then we add just a little bit of extra flavor with some strawberry jam. We mix that all together. Mm, and these are gonna taste absolutely sensational. Let's see how it looks. So after you do the first blend, if you like it thick, that's fine. But I like mine a little bit more runny. So I'll add in a little bit of coconut milk as well. So it just helps with the consistency. So you can add it as you go. So you either have it thickier or runnier. <laughs> God, look how golden that looks. That is an absolute perfect waffle each and every time. And like I said, barely any protein in here. Barely, maybe just a little, I don't know, maybe a gram of proteins in this. All right, so we're gonna top this with a little bit of grass-fed butter. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely sensational. Once that's finished, I'm gonna top it with some raspberries, blueberries, this is my own homemade granola. And so I add in just a little bit of homemade granola on there. Top that off, get a little extra crunch. And then pure Ontario maple syrup. Okay, we earned that one today. That's what happens when you lift heavy. When you lift heavy, you come home and you can chow down and have a little bit of maple syrup. Don't worry about it. Hey, there you have it, guys. That is what I call perfection. I'm gonna go chow down on this. And while I'm doing that, you guys, head down to the comment section below and let me know how you like this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. You have that notification button on. You like it and you go tell your friends about it and let me know what other videos you want me to create. And I'm gonna let you guys in on everything that we're doing this year. So let's 